The following fascinating case of reincarnation was told by a professional couple who did not want their names mentioned for fear of ridicule. The father was a famous author and he and his wife also ran seminars across the whole of the United States. The couple had a son called Michael and when he was a baby showed a lot of interest in his father's Rolex watch and always wanted to hold it. The child was persistent in his efforts and continued to reach for the watch. One day when Michael was starting to utter his first words, he pointed to the watch and said, Mine! On another occasion, when his parents called him by his name, he then pointed to himself and said, Sonny! From that moment onwards, he insisted that his name was not Michael, but Sonny, and his parents eventually stopped calling him Michael and agreed to call him Sonny. As the months passed and his vocabulary started to improve, he said to his parents, Me, Sonny Ray! His mother thought he was just joining up words and was forming the word Sunray. However, agreeing to her son's insistence on being called Sunny, from that moment on she started to call her son My Little Sunray. The surprises never stopped coming when one day he told his parents that he had a wife and her name was Dawn and they'd lived in Texas. The parents would normally listen to classical music, but on one occasion, there was a country and western song playing on the radio, and to the utter amazement, he would not only sing along to the music, but he actually knew the words. On another occasion, he was sitting with his mother looking at a book that had pictures of dogs, and their son screamed out excitedly, That's my dog, Willie! At this stage, the parents were starting to look at each other, wondering why their son was coming out with strange comments, with their clear strange behaviour, but never for a second did they consider that he could be talking about living a previous life. But things got even weirder for the couple when their son was seven years old and they were running a seminar in Texas. It just so happens that one of the people that was to take part in the seminar was a woman called Dawn Ray. It was during the break that Michael's father took the opportunity to have a conversation with the woman and ask her whether she was married. She replied that she'd been a widow for eight years. He then asked her what her husband's first name was, and she said, Sonny. The couple could only look at each other aghast, and then asked the woman whether she was able to accompany them to their hotel room after the seminar, as they had something important they wanted to discuss with her. After the woman arrived at the hotel and came to their room, they told her that they have a son who claimed that he'd been married to a woman called Dawn Ray from Texas in a previous life. To seek further confirmation, they then asked whether she owns or had owned a white spaniel. Dawn Ray said, oh yes, that was Willie, and he and Sonny were virtually inseparable. After hearing the amazing story that the couple had just told her, she was determined to meet Michael. So the couple arranged for the seven-year-old son to fly down to Texas to meet up with the woman. When they called their son, they did not tell him why they wanted him to come down to join them. Two days later, Michael arrived at the airport and after collecting him, took him directly to Dawn Ray's house. When they arrived at the house and the woman opened the door, Michael excitedly called out, Dawn, and stretched out his hands and ran into the arms of a bewildered looking Mrs. Ray. He then hugged her and gave her a big kiss on the cheek. After the initial shock and introduction, everyone made their way into the living room. Mrs. Ray could not quite believe what had just happened and was initially sceptical. She then asked Michael whether he was familiar with the house they were now in, but Michael said he did not recognise it. But it was not surprising that he didn't recognise the house because she only moved into the house after the death of her husband, Sonny. Michael then asked her whether she had kept his guitar, and after a look of astonishment, went to the cupboard and took out the guitar, which she then placed into the outstretched arms of the young boy. Michael then held the guitar in a way that showed he was familiar with the instrument. More surprises were in store, when even though the fretboard was a bit too large for Michael to hold properly, he was still able to strum and sing a well-known folk song which amazed his parents, because he'd never ever played the guitar in his life, and how did he know what to do, and how did he know the old folk tune? Instead of Mrs. Ray, he was now addressing her as Dawn. He then asked her whether she'd kept his watch, 
Mrs. Ray then left the room and returned with the box that contained the watch. When he opened the box, he found a Rolex watch that was identical to the one that his father was wearing. Michael then asked for his camera, but first they asked their son to describe the camera. After describing the camera, Mrs. Ray again left the room and came back with a camera that perfectly matched Michael's description. Michael then inquired about his pipe, which he again was able to perfectly describe. Later in an even strange twist of events, Dawn Ray sold a house in Texas and moved in with a family in California. She would babysit Michael whenever his parents were traveling, which was quite often. When Michael was 14, Dawn Ray moved to New York, but Michael missed her so much that his parents allowed him to live with her in New York and they still lived together. This is a very strange incident and you have to question the reasoning behind reincarnation. My personal belief in reincarnation is that with every incarnation that you have, I presume you also progress as a spirit. But what progress did Michael's spirit learn in his new life when all he did was return to his previous life and continue where he left off living with the same woman he'd left after he died and was reincarnated?